Both men predicting knockout tonight, even though Pacquiao hasn't won by stoppage in nine years. He beat Miguel Cotto back in 2009. Yeah, Pacquiao seems to be uh, controlling the pace right now and where the fight is fought. He's definitely the ring general in there at the moment. Good body work there by Pacquiao. And a good jab, a stiff one for Matisse. He's really walking Matisse down. He didn't fear Matisse's power at all. At least that's what he told us in the fighter meeting. He's not concerned about him, but he's been in there with... Him again, he just kind of moved on to Boo Boy. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I was surprised to, to hear that. Nice shot there from Pacquiao. Pacquiao told us he thought the Tise was going to come to him, but it's Pacquiao pushing the pace as he so often is in this fight. Tise said he used to be more of a boxer, but got some, some bad decisions that didn't go his way. He said, I had to change my style. I don't want it to go to the judges anymore. Either one of these guys. This crowd has settled in a little bit here. Halfway through round two. Scheduled for 12. Diaz warned Matisse about in the corner. The story of, of Benny Pacquiao's recent success in this fight has been the right hand. He's been landing nice left ho uh, right hooks and, and jabs over the top. Matisse, you see a nice shot there, right there. He has a dangerous man in front of him. Matisse is showing no signs of life right now. Backpedaling. Pacquiao had Jeff Horn in a lot of trouble in his last fight in round nine. Couldn't close the show. Vowed to do so tonight if he got Matisse in trouble. But right now, Chris, he looks like a man reinvented. Yeah, if they can believe their words on that one, that's for sure. That was a beautifully timed left uppercut off the jab. He was setting Matisse up with that right jab for the left hand the whole time. Pacquiao with his trademark smashing of the gloves together to pump himself up. Matisse still looks like he's in a bit of trouble. Put a nice right hook there. Matisse on unsteady feet for sure. Less than a minute to go here in round three. It's been all Manny so far. Good body work there by Pacquiao. Coming back with that left uppercut again. You can see Manny's using that right jab to walk Matisse into his left hand. This knockdown here, you see Manny Pacquiao using his right hook to, to slide that left uppercut right through the guard of Matisse. He's been using that right hand the first two rounds, set Matisse up perfectly. He ducks to his left, eats that uppercut gets put on the seat of his pants. Beautiful shot, didn't see it coming. As I always say, the punch you don't see is the one that hurts you the most. He caught Matisse with a right hand as the Argentinian came inside. Now backs him up with the left. 
Who would have thought that Pacquiao would be the boss in there tonight? Luger Matisse wherever he wants him. Picking his spots, using that right hand. Love the use of the right jab. This crowd sensing something special. Matisse goes down to the body. Chris, you felt Pacquiao's power four years ago in Macau, China. How hard can he hit? You know, there's a lot of talk about him not taking his power because he hasn't scored a knockout in a long time. It's not the case. He always had the power. He still the power. I felt his power when we were fighting. Uh, he's a very, very good puncher. That's not what he, what he stops guys with. It's, it's, it's combinations. That's what he's most known for, being a, a relentless power puncher with, power puncher with speed. The chin, just the way Condizales did in the, uh, in the fight with Lou Good jab there from Pacquiao. certain right now. Every time he throws a punch, his hands come right back to his body, anticipating the counter shot from back down. We're going to see uh, Matisse land that straight right hand, which I was saying is going to be his key to victory. And then we see uh, Manny Pacquiao's best punch here. Straight left hand to the body there, and then one up top. And then we've got another left hand that Pacquiao landed later in the round. Slips, throws his combination, and then looking to set up that left hand again. As Matisse jab, Pacquiao slips his head to the outside. Punch. You be first. going about as well as they possibly could so far for the 39-year-old from the Philippines. Good jab there for Matisse. I guess still needs to be cautious. This is a man that's dangerous for all 12 rounds. Tise has been hit by some of the hardest punchers out there. Victor Posta, Ruslan Provodnikov, Danny Garcia. It seems that maybe Pacquiao's power is different than all the... Oh, and a left hand. A good one there for Lucas Matisse. It was a jab, and it landed right on the butt. There's a right hand. Finally, Matisse finding some success. He's a right hook off of Manny's jab, lands the jab there, flicks another jab and wings a right hook over the top, slicing right hook, seemed to just nick Matisse under the eye. One more look here. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 it's shot in the temple. A lot of times that can that can take your, your equilibrium, take your legs away from you. Matisse may have felt that and decided that it was better for him to take a knee there and recover. Either way, Matisse's been down twice, and he's already in the I need a knockout to get a win type of territory. Entering round six here, scheduled for 12, the WBA welterweight championship of the world on the low line. Low. And a Very low. 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 Very low. Thank you.
And even though that was most likely unintentional, it gives Matisse a lot of time here to recollect himself. Much needed time. Although he looks very steady on his legs, even in the beginning of this round, so. Well, Matisse told us this will not go the distance, and he looks like he's going to be right, but it may not be hit. You can sense the, I don't know if it's fear, but the concern Matisse has for Pacquiao's power as soon as he throws a punch. Not only does he cover up Chris, but he's taking steps backwards. Well, he's getting hit with everything at this point. Manny is, is, is landing the jab, the straight left hand, the right hook, just like he was when he was fighting uh, Marquez that fateful fourth time before he got knocked out. Staying very composed, using his right hand. Matisse missed and reached. Matisse caught him there, but Pacquiao handled it very well, and it's still coming forward. That was one thing I was very surprised with when I fought Manny, that his defense is, is as good as it is. He's very, very good at changing his range and making you miss and also reach. Just like he did in the last round, Matisse starting to land some punches, but that's when Pacquiao caught him and sent him down to the canvas again. And now Matisse firing back at least. Matisse may be, may be better off just going for broke. Let his hands go, plant his feet, throw some power shots. Maybe catch um, Pacquiao is just coming in. Couple jabs there for Matisse. Gave Matisse some very much needed seconds to break. Yeah, uh, Matisse was trying to counter underneath one of the shots of, of Manny Pacquiao, one of his combinations. Hit him uh, on the belt line, it was pretty low. Those shots that, that hit kind of like the hip area are very painful, even if they don't hit you in the groin per se. So we have reached the halfway point of this fight, and Pacquiao has seemingly won every round, which includes two knockdowns. him with a big shot and he has to start over. And that uppercut has been one of the best punches in the fight for Pacquiao. He's landed it multiple times. If you notice, when Manny throws his right hand, Matisse has the tendency to dip to his right and forward. That's why that left uppercut has been landing so cleanly for Pacquiao. Here he does it again. Manny's walking him into that shot. He left it him. Now I will say I saw uh, Manny Pacquiao firsthand eating a steak. Uh, the day before the weigh-in, um, which I don't know if not, but it, it, it seems to be paying off today because he's looking very strong in there.
the 60th win of his professional career, his 39th knockout. And there were those that said, Chris, that he had no chance against somebody that's a big name in the division like Terrence Crawford or Vasil Lomachenko. He can't hang with those guys.